Friday, but it's the gorgeous. And I'm trying my hand at vlogging. It is a Friday. So um, I did record something and I'm gonna record for the rest of the day. I'll probably upload this vlog on Saturday or Monday. Whenever I get time to edit. And then you just get a not really a full day in my life because um, a lot of my work friends are not here, but it's just me and a few other colleagues. Uh, I'll try not to show my colleagues on camera because uh, they haven't given me consent to do so. And later on, once they know about my channel, then if they want to you know, be involved, then you will get to see them and get to know them. For now, you'll just see a few snippets of what I go through during the day and what I do. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Good morning, good morning. This is me driving to work. I travel with my brother, so I dropped him off in Rosebank at his office and then I continue on to my office. I, it's a quite a short drive from his office to mine and um, there's hardly any traffic. And yeah, it was a beautiful sunny day um, and I enjoy driving down this road. Um, yeah, and as we head into Hyde Park, I do sometimes see our president on this road at times, this road that I'm turning into. Yes, I see him there walking with his security. Morning, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm using another car today. Can you please open for me? Yeah, uh, 11th floor, NFP. Yeah, I usually drive the white auto. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've arrived at the building. This is our parking. And now we're headed up to the office. I work on the 11th floor and it is like a ghost town today. It is so quiet. It is so creepy. Not many people are here yet. But it's a Friday leading up to a mini long weekend. So not many people are at the office today. And as you'll see, the lift is quite empty. Usually you stand here for quite a long time because the lift comes up full. But today it was just me, myself and I um, doing a happy dance. <laughs> Obviously, um, and yeah, the mirrors don't help either. Quite distracting when you come to the lifts. You always engage with yourself in the mirror. Well, the lifts are super fast and before you know it, I am on the 11th floor, ready to start the day. As I walk into the office, we have a security system that uses either a tag or biometrics and I opted for biometrics. Please mind my biometric photo, it is... Ugh. <laughs> Anyway, we have arrived. I've just arrived. Now I'm heading over to the library where I record most of my videos just to show you guys um, the routine in the morning. Now I'm headed to my office. Sorry guys, the video is rushed, but I didn't want to um, capture the colleagues as I said anyway that is my other work colleague that I work with in my office that is the view and yeah um, I have arrived and ready to work Now that we are settled in and we've exchanged pleasantries, good morning, good morning, everybody's happy, I head on straight to the kitchen to make myself a cup of coffee or a cappuccino or whatever it is that I want really. Um, we are fortunate enough to have our tea ladies make us tea during the day, but the first cup I prefer to make myself. And we have this awesome cappuccino maker. That yes, we are not allowed to operate. However, under the supervision of the kitchen staff, 
I was allowed to make myself a cappuccino. And yeah, while making the cappuccino, I had a conversation with Uncle Phil. <laughs> He's one of the seniors at the office. He's like a hundred years old. <laughs> Kidding. But yeah, he was just fascinated that I was recording myself um, making a cappuccino. So he wanted to find out if I was going to post that on my Facebook. And I was like, Uncle Phil, really? Facebook? Yep. I'll definitely post this because I am a millennial. <laughs> Little did he know I was actually shooting for my vlog. Oh, you gotta love Uncle Phil. What's my name? I am most productive early in the morning and I love just chatting with my colleague, catching up um, on the evening, comparing notes about what to do for the day and yeah, we get straight into it. Luckily, boss is on leave so we didn't really have much but yeah, mornings are my most productive. Love working early in the morning. bananas were going off so I had to snack I don't usually snack as you had seen I just had a snack I don't usually eat during the day I follow the RF intermittent fasting I usually start my first meal of the day at 12 or 1 which is lunch and I eat up until 8 o'clock and then from 8 in the evening I don't eat again until the next day at 12 but I did today. Well, it's lunchtime. I usually spend my lunch hour with my work friend. She's like a sister to me now, but she is not at work today. She's on leave, so it was lunch for one. Other colleagues were in the canteen. We are not allowed to eat at our desks, but yeah, I do sneak in a meal or two at my desk. But yeah, I had a, lunch, a beef stew, leftover beef stew, and it was delicious. Oh, she's fine. She's good. Of course, yes. She's two and four months. Or what? March, April, May, June, July. Two years and four months. Yeah. Of course, yes. Her birthday was in March. She's got personality of notes. She is just. Oh, I was telling Trevor the other day. Sorry, it's a, little, it's a bit disgusting, but I mean, it, you know, it's, it's about potty. So the other day, she said something about making a poo. So I said, Do you want to go make a poo? And then just instinctively, I said, Okay, let's go. So she wasn't sure whether she's going to say yes or no, you know? So she's just saying. And then I took her, her diaper off because she's got the pull ups. I took the diaper off and then I put her on. So I haven't even bought the the, the, the baby seat, the seat that goes on. I, I don't want a party because I'm not going to clean it. My son didn't have a party. So you buy the small seat that goes on the big toilet seat. So I still got to buy that. Anyway, I take her. Now she's grabbing onto me for dear life because now I'm putting her on this massive toilet. <laughs> and then she's there and then she's just looking at me. She doesn't know what to do. She's like, so then we wait, 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 wait. And then... And then I'm invading her privacy. Girl, I haven't been to the toilet on my own in years. Like, I cannot wait until I'm 40 where I can use the toilet on my own. Anyway. Story for another day. Ask Shan, she doesn't even have her own bathroom because her daughter uses her bathroom. So it just... And you don't want to go use another toilet. You must wait because... Your daughter's in your toilet, your bathroom. And how old is she? You see, it never ends. A 21 year old. Anyway, let's 
So she makes the poo, a nice one, eh? Like proper. And I'm like, yay! We're excited, we're happy. She go tells the dad, and it was just wow. before, before bar things, bath waters there, everything. So I dropped everything, and I just wanted to go turn down the stove so that I can bath her and then see. So she's walking around, no kimbis, nothing on, just the vest. She's walking around, walking around, and she's enjoying this freedom now, you know? And while I'm in the kitchen, then I get carried away with stirring my pots and whatnot. Then I see she's squatting next to me on the kitchen floor. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Please don't tell me you're not done. Because <laughs> we flushed everything. <laughs> Lo and behold, she wasn't done. But she left me a little brownie there on the, on the kitchen floor. Yes. The brother was finished. He was like, my, she's like a little dog. I'm like, oh my God, that's why I don't want dogs. Because <laughs> who's going to clean up after them? <laughs> like if she didn't pee, but she just left her. Uh, and I was like, okay, it's fine. So then I just took the paper towel, and cleaned it up quickly, domestos. And then I was like, okay, you boss now, please. Like, I was so excited. I was like, yes, now we're getting... She's actually, she's getting into the idea of going in onto the big toilet because when I when I go, she goes in with me and then when I'm busy with the toilet paper, she, she takes her own toilet. I give her one block of toilet paper, you know, because she also wants to wipe me. So I'm like, okay, here's yours, here's mine. And then she just comes close and I'm like, mm, thank you, baby. And then we, we throw it into the toilet and then we flush. And then she's so happy with herself. Oh, let's know. Mm -mm. Even my son, when was it? I think it was on Monday or Tuesday. He had to read for me, and I was in the bathroom, in the toilet, just peeing, you know. So I'm there, and then I kind of like, you know, lay on my arms, just rubbing my temples, because you know, I'm like, it's evening, I'm rushing, I'm tired, and whatnot. Oh no, as soon as I told him, listen, get your books ready and come read for me. But I'm still going to go to the toilet first. What does he do? He comes barging into the toilet with the book. He wants to come read for me. I'm like, and then he barges in. He's like, oh. And he says, okay. I'm like, knock. How many times do I have to knock? No. He barges in. And I'm sitting on the toilet. I'm like, now what? What must I do now? Like, guys, guys. Oh, my life. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't have any time. Mm -mm. I don't have any time. But anyway, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for five years. Then I'll be 40. They say life. Thank you. She's gonna be big. Do you think? Ah, uh -uh, she's gonna be big. I'll have two grown-ass kids. I'll have a teenager and a seven-year-old. Hopefully, my life can begin. They say life begins at 40, right? I'm here. I like. Who knows I'm supposed to have kids? Yeah. And I'm done. So 40. 40, my last born will be 7. And then JJ will be 13. It'll be big. Ah. You're only having a bit of freedom now. Are you telling me that's going to take me that long? Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> oh, my word. She, okay, she cuddles with my makeup. She sees what I do and she wants to do it too. But she also, she's very helpful, like when I'm, you know, like in the evenings, I want to do a lot of washing. And then I use that uh, thing, that contraption to hang in the house. And then she will, because um, usually I hang it out outside. But then if I don't want to go outside, I hang it inside. The clothes here, that one. And she'll help me, because I'll give her all the undies and the socks and, yeah. And then when I'm fluffing the things, and she also, she's fluffing the socks. And then she's putting them at the bottom because it also has a bottom uh, rail thing and then she tries to hang it in there this was us last night nine o'clock i'm busy hanging watching there i'm like oh my god we need to go sleep oh that's 
good for you. We have this nice egg. Back to the grind. We work, work, work. Here I was just binding my study material so that I have my study packs ready. As you know, I am studying. Gotta get everything in order. Well, I'm also known as Usis Dolly at the office. Everybody comes to vent in my office and yeah, this was one of the venting sessions. So, yeah, interesting. I'm not going to tell you what this was about, but it was interesting. for the long weekend so that I can start studying and obviously I have to give my neighbor the 411 of the vent <laughs> she always wants to know what on earth <laughs> I have no idea how she saw I was recording but she decided that she wanted in on the action <laughs> we've come to the end of the day thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed this vlog and got a snippet view of what i do during the day well till the next one many more vlogs to come goodbye